So I've been knowing you since kindergarten, and I've always known you as Will Joe. Mm -hmm. So how did you come up with the name Black Dinkins? So actually, I came up with the name, or I ain't gonna say I came up with the name, someone uh, gave me the name while I was in prison. So I was approximately about, at this time, I say I was around 19 years old. It was around, no, nah, I say I was 18. Yes, I was around 18, going on 19. It was around the time I got my GED. So I graduated with my class but I actually got my GED in October. So y'all graduated, what, May? So I actually got my um, GED, high school diploma, whatnot, in, in October. So I looked during that process, a friend of mine I was locked up with out of uh, Newport, Arkansas, named Ron Roddy. I never forget him, shout out to Ron Roddy. Um, <clears throat> hopefully he's out now, I heard he was out now. So I think he did probably, you know, a decade and a half or close to two decades in prison, you know, so we spent a lot of time, but we used to always read and come up with different words and quotes for the day. And that way we can kind of sharpen our intellect because I learned how to read in prison. So I, I, I used to always be um, intrigued on new words. You know, it could be something simple, but I'd be wanting to know it, like how you spell it, how you say it, how you use it in a sentence. So doing this section, he ran across Penis. And it impressed him so much, he came to me with said, hey man, I got this new word. He said, but I can teach you. You should call yourself this. I was like, oh, what you mean? So we opened up the dictionary and we was looking at it. He said, so check it out. So it said that the phoenix was a mythical bird from uh, Egypt or from the, I say, the, the, lay, uh, the land of the blacks is what I know of uh, now from Kenya. But, you know, we'll think Egyptian first when I first got the knowledge. But it was a bird that consumed itself by fire. And over 500 years later, it risen from its own ashes as a new bird, as a phoenix bird, a bird of life. So it shows resurrection and he was like, he's like, uh, Joe, that's you. He said, because you consumed yourself in the streets with gang bang and violence and all the stuff that happened, but you have risen to a whole nother person. You rising now into something else. He said, you the black phoenix. And it just stuck with me. I said, that's my name. But I didn't want to spell it like the Phoenix Bird, so I changed the name of it on pretty much how you pronounce it, which is L-E-N-I-K-S. So I wanted to be not only just a representation of that history, but I wanted to show the rise of a black adolescent coming from poverty, coming from gang violence, and actually learning something and changing that it can be done. So anyone that that's rising themselves and picking themselves up from them ashes, the ashes, they are phoenix too. I'm just the representative to say, uh, the representative to say I'm the black phoenix, but you are too. So if you rise, you black phoenix too. I'm just the one carrying the flag right now, you know what I'm saying? So so that's how the name really came about, but I embrace it now because it's who I am. You know, I'm all about uh, education, uh, financial literacy, and, um, and history. You know, because if we don't know where we're going, we most definitely, uh, if we don't know what we're being, we most definitely don't know where we're going. So I'm trying to break those chains. So that's why I came over with it.